You must remember this A kiss is still a kiss How'd you sleep, Anders? How'd you sleep, Anders Bananas? We slept with the hatch open last night. It's pretty nice that it can keep it open and have the rear tire carrier closed. Now the sun's coming up, shining me in the eyeballs. Nature's alarm clock. <laughs> yeah, but it's so easy just to lay in bed with Anders all day. Are you cleaning me up? You giving me a bath? Oh gosh. I think we're finally gonna leave this area, get back to civilization a little bit so I can upload some videos. I have zero cell service, all that jazz. But first off today, having the river here right next to us is a perfect opportunity to give Anders here a bath. Right, Anders? You haven't had a bath in forever. You're so licky this morning. Licky. You must remember On a side note, this is our last five gallons of water. So we're gonna need to stop and replenish our water supply soon. Ooh, it's a little chilly. Not bad though. Come here, Anders. Time to give you a little bath. Come on. It's all right, come on. Come here, Annie. You're tough. You're a tough cookie. You'll be fine. Smelly dog, smelly, smelly dog, yeah. Good girl, good girl. All right, Annie, you're good. <laughs> yeah, now it's time to dry off on the nearest plant. <laughs> you're more dirty than when we started this. Whatever, whatever. We're in Grand Junction now. Gym, shower, grocery shopping, you know, taking care of business, that's what we've been doing. And also, I have Wi-Fi now, so that's cool. So I'm letting three different videos upload. Man, I gotta grease that sucker. Now, onto the topic of today's video. And this makes me sick just thinking about it. I mean, I think I might throw up. Colorado, state number four, is by far, by far, the worst when it comes to the Jeep Wave. If you don't know what the Jeep Wave is, I don't know exactly either. It could be a peace sign, it could be a thumbs up, it could just be a hey, do a little thing. Acknowledge your fellow Jeeper when you're on the road, okay? I know there's a lot of Jeeps, but still, at least then one of your arms will get a workout for the day. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Uh, uh, uh. Colorado of all states. I mean, I look up to you guys. You got the mountains, the trails, the beauty of the lakes and the rivers, and you got, I mean, it's, it is 4 by 4 heaven. Now, I wouldn't bring this up unless I could significantly tell there's a difference. And I can significantly t uh, I'm getting... Uh. 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 It doesn't matter if it's a modified Wrangler, Cherokee, whatever. They just look at me like... Oh, it's not a guy in a Jeep. Who's the, who's the guy in a Jeep? <laughs> I'd stare those guys down. I'm looking right at them. Doing, I'm like, thumbs up, peace. What, I'm doing all, everything. Just give me something back. Give me a Jeep wave back. Get in there. Jeez. You made me root my veggies. Just please, for the sake of every Jeep out there, for the sake of the Jeep community, Colorado, Get your Jeep wave going again. 
All right, I'm calm down. Speaking of Colorado, I plan to have the off-roading and Wrangler meetup, not this weekend, not next weekend, but the fall. Saturday, June 10th, Sunday, June 11th, those are the two dates that I wanna do it. Now, I don't have an exact location or time for those dates yet because I want your guys' feedback. You know, I could just go with Denver and pick a cool park and we all meet up there for the Wrangler meetup. That would work just fine. I wanna see if any of you locals, locals, not locos, know of a different cooler place or you know, just your suggestions, your thoughts on where we should do the meetup. And then the same thing for the off-roading meetup. Cause that's kind of what I'm gonna try to do in each state now is have an actual meetup where anyone with, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a four wheel drive or not, shows up, meet and greet, we do whatever, go out to eat. And then the next day would be the off-road meetup, Jade Jamboree. It's kind of, it has a ring to it, I like that. You know. And any and all 4x4s or two wheel drive, you think you can make it, are welcome to come. Doesn't need to be Jeeps, because I've had a lot of people in the past ask if they could bring their other 4x4s. Of course! So please leave a comment on where you guys think would be a great spot for the meetup and for the off-road meetup. I know there's a lot of trails that are closed right now in Colorado. I ran into that like just this last week, but I am going to be in Colorado for a month and hopefully in the next two and a half weeks some trails open up a little bit. We'll see. The best one you guys think would be cool to meet up at or you recommend someone who's never been to Colorado go to, that would be great. First off was me complaining. Second off was the meetup announcement. Third off, t-shirts. In the description area of each of my videos, there's a t-shirt link. That link is not working. There are t-shirts available and a mini business goal, if you will, for me this year is to always have a steady supply of t-shirts. So that is what is going to happen, right? Uh, mum, 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 mum. Also, if you have any suggestions for merchandise that you guys would love to see, comment that below too. It's going to be a really good comment section today. I just feel it. I can just tell. I think we're going to travel east today. Sound like a fart. After these uploads are uploaded, we're going to travel east. I don't know how far we're going to get. Most likely just looking for a camping spot. You must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. Here's a better shot of the crack in the windshield. One rock hit there, and then it split. Now it's going way up. And then actually another rock hit right there, and that one hasn't split yet. Found a decent camping spot last night, just like 18 miles east of Grand Junction. This is our camping spot. Ended up being a pretty late night, and when we finally found the camping spot, all I wanted to do was eat food and go to bed. But I did not want to end this vlog without a whole bunch of thank yous that I owe to some wonderful new Patreon pledges. David Christopher, Derek Black, Shane Crohenbill, Joshua Young, Peter Vollers, David Moran, Brian Jeffcoat, and Katie Bleezefer. Blyzefer. Blyzefer. Katie, thank you. You guys, if you don't know, you're incredible. Thank you so much for helping us out. I'm able to live this freaking dream, you know? Freaking. Tomorrow's Friday kicks off Memorial Weekend. I think I'm gonna do some off-roading. I mean, I got to, right? There's a pass that opened up near Aspen, Independence Pass. It's gonna be amazing. Hope you guys have a great Memorial Weekend, and I'll see you guys soon. I had a nightmare, Anders. I had a nightmare. Anders, I had a nightmare. I had a nightmare. What is it? Oh, no. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me.